Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. If you are new here, my name is Chanel, the owner of Three Balls Handmade Soap Some More. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I make this carrot and turmeric soap. All right, y'all, so right here, I have everything out on the table that I am going to be using today. We have some paprika, mainly just for color. Um, I'm going for like, a, I was going for like a certain type of orange looking color. So we have some turmeric powder. We have our carrots over here. We also have our strainer. I'm gonna need this, as well as my blender back here in the back. So let me go ahead and clean off my table and then we will go ahead and get started. All right, so first I started out by peeling my carrots and I have four laid out on my table, but for this particular soap, I only needed three carrots. And once I got them all peeled, it was time for me to go ahead and chop those up and put them into my blender. And so this is what we have once they are all cut up. And then I went in and added two and a half, about two and a half cups. I started pouring it in right here and I realized, hey, I need to use my measuring cup. So I went back and finished it out with my measuring cup. So again, it was about two and a half cups of distilled water. All right, so now that I have my carrots all pureed, this is what I have. Now, I do not want the puree, so therefore I am going to strain mine. Um, though some, like some, when they work with puree, they like to boil their carrots first. I don't boil my carrots, that's just me personally, but um, you can always boil your carrots to make them a little softer if you're using the puree. Again, I wasn't worrying about boiling them because I wanted the juice, not the puree. So right here, I'm just going in with my spatula and just pressing down on the puree to get out whatever juice that may be in there. All right, so once I was finished with the carrot juice, I then took my container and put it in my fridge overnight to let it get really, really cold. You can always freeze yours. I just stick it in the fridge overnight. All right, so right here, I am just stirring up this carrot juice. Since it was in my fridge overnight, I did have just a few little, um, like a little bit of ice in there, just a little bit. So now I am just weighing out the amount that I need for my recipe. All right, so right here I am outside in my well ventilated area and I am just going to slowly add in this lye to my carrot juice and stir until everything is dissolved. Once my oils and my lye carrot juice solution was cooled down to room temp, I then added the lye and carrot juice into my oils. I'm using the strainer so that way it can catch whatever that may still be in there, a little bit of pulp or whatever. So once I do that, I'm once I combine these two, I am just going to stick blend this until I reach my desired trace.
right so once I reached my desired trace it was time for me to go ahead and add in my additives the paprika as well as the turmeric powder um, you can always I don't think I mentioned this but I did replace a hundred percent of my water with carrot juice so a hundred percent of my water was replaced with the carrot juice and you can always add in your turmeric and your paprika you can add that in with your oils of course I just choose to do mine at trace just personal preference that's it and the reason for the paprika is just for the color I want it more of a like a vibrant orange as opposed to me just only using the turmeric because too much turmeric will turn your soap brown so that's why the paprika was added to this so once I added in my additives I just continued to stir this up and stick blend it just a little bit more until everything was blended together and y'all look at that color it's definitely giving like pumpkin sweet potato fall but um yeah I'm, I'm definitely loving this color so I am just going to right now I'm just scraping the sides and then it was time to put it in the soap mold So once I got all the soap in the mold, I just shook it a little bit and gave it a tap on the table to get out whatever air bubbles that may be left in there, trapped in there. All right, so right here, I'm just trying to figure out what to do with the top. Um, I kind of went back and forth about the texture, like what type of texture I wanted to do, if I wanted to add any like poppy seeds or anything like that on top. Um, if you're into piping, you can always pipe some little green like stems or grass on top, you know, to definitely make it look like a little carrot. Um, that's just, you know, options, of course. But me, I just decided to go with the usual and just leave it plain. And so 48 hours later, y'all know usually I cut within 24 hours, but I got a little busy and I couldn't cut until, you know, two days later. But anyway, so this soap, it looks like very creamy. The color did tone down a little bit, um, just a tad. And I do have specs in here, but I love the specs. I don't mind the specs. Every time I work with paprika when adding it, um, at Trace, I always end up with the specs, and I think they look pretty cool. So right now, I'm just taking this out of the mold to see if we got full gel or not. So right here, I'm just turning it around just to set up what you guys can see, and it looks like we got us a full gel. So right here, if my camera can focus, I did get a little crack there and a little crack right there but again it's perfectly fine all right and so now it is time for me to cut my soap now if you're new to my channel I turn my soap on its side so that way I don't smash the tops if my top was flat I would um, just leave it standing straight up but since it's not since I do texture my tops 90 5% of the time I turn them over on their side so that way it's easier for me to cut.
So right here, I am just lining up my soaps so that way I can get ready to stamp them. And we are all done. Thank you guys so much. Let me know what you think down in the comment section. And if you have not done so already, please hit the like button. To all of our subscribers, thank you so much for the support. And if you have not subscribed, please consider doing so. Until next time, I will see you guys later.